The coronavirus pandemic has not only cost countless lives, but has hit the world economy hard. The United States, which has the world's biggest economy, hasn't been an exception. The U.S. is the world's worst-hit nation by the pandemic. Under former President Donald Trump, the country launched a program called Operation Warp Speed to facilitate and accelerate the production and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. U.S. pharmaceutical companies developed several vaccines and rolled them out to the country's population. Trump's successor, Joe Biden's administration, set a target of vaccinating 70 percent of the country's population, at least partially, by the 4th of July. However, the country met the target a month later, despite generous incentives given to Americans. At least 40 percent of the U.S. population is a victim of a lot of silly conspiracy theories about the, the vaccine and are adamant about not taking the vaccine. It's a big problem in the U.S. that's been stoked by social media and QAnon and, you know, career uh, uh, right-wing uh, politicians who are manipulating it all for their personal gain. So the U.S. Uh, is confronting with this real problem. The vaccination program proved effective at bringing down the daily COVID cases and deaths, but up to a certain point. The highly infectious Delta variant of the coronavirus sent a new wave of cases and fatalities across the world. Scrambling to contain the spiraling outbreak, President Biden announced new mandatory vaccination plans on Thursday. I will sign an executive order that will now require all executive branch federal employees to be vaccinated. All. And I've signed another executive order that will require federal contractors to do the same. If you want to work with the federal government and do business with us, get vaccinated. But in addition to saving lives, the U.S. government is aiming at saving the economy, too. Well, it certainly would help because we have a problem going on of uh, a lot of workers uh, not wanting to go back to work now that the COVID Delta variant is accelerating a lot of places in the country. That was obvious in the last month's uh, job report. The mandatory vaccination program has triggered a backlash from American conservatives. Hours after the Democratic U.S. president announced a coronavirus vaccine mandate for federal workers, Republicans lambasted the decision, suggesting that it's unconstitutional. Figures, including Republican National Committee Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, threatened to take legal action against the Biden administration. A majority of the critics are questioning the administration's authority to declare such a mandate. Back in March, the Democrats in the U.S. Congress passed a bill for a $1.9 trillion coronavirus stimulus package without a single vote from Republican lawmakers. The plan was intended to send direct payments of up to $1,400 per person to the majority of American households, extend a $300 per week unemployment insurance supplement, and put funds into vaccine distribution. The Republicans argued that the package was superfluous as the economy was reopening anyway. They believed the economy would suffer down the road, considering how big a figure the bill earmarked. Well, you know, that's a false argument. What the Republicans are really about uh, is that uh, they, they don't want to spend on these stimulus programs because if the stimulus programs spending uh, amounts to significant uh, fiscal stimulus, uh, then uh, they'll have to raise taxes on corporations and investors, which means they'll have to uh, uh, reduce some of the uh, generous Trump tax cuts of 2017. Uh, they gave four and a half trillion dollars in uh, tax cuts to uh, corporations and wealthy individuals and investors. They, have, they would have to raise taxes. And that's really what it's about. They don't want to raise those taxes. They don't want to take away the Trump tax cuts if they got to have to spend a lot on social programs. With the United States COVID-19 figures rising in recent weeks, economic indicators are expected to be negatively impacted. Biden's unprecedented and aggressive move to make vaccines mandatory for a considerable portion of the American society can highlight the gravity of the risk the U.S. economy is currently facing from the deadly contagion. 